The South Carolina Gamecocks volleyball team is home today after a 3-1 to one loss at Kentucky. Today, SEC play continues as they face off against Missouri. Missouri leads the all-time series 6-2, to two, and the Gamecocks look to turn that tide as underdogs. The Gamecocks look good to start the match. They reached 20 points fairly quickly and held off a late surge from the Tigers to take the first set, 18-25. to 25. Michaela Shields was key for South Carolina on the night, but she and her teammates didn't fare well in the second set. This spike by Mizzou's Sydney Deacon would be part of the Tigers' surge, and the Gamecocks would fall short, tying the match at one apiece. In the third, Michaela Robinson would team up with Shields on this block, and the Gamecocks would again find offensive momentum as she had a key kill early on. Mizzou wasn't done, however, and neither was Deacon with this rejection. Under the leadership of sophomore Riley Sense, Missouri was able to take the third set, despite the Gamecocks pushing it into extra points. It was do or die time for the Gamecocks, but Mizzou wasn't looking to let up the pressure with star Alyssa Munlin on this kill. Michaela Robinson would answer for the Gamecocks and Shields would continue to dominate. The Cox were also able to ride on a strong performance from sophomore Courtney Kaler in the fourth, propelling them to again tie the match, pushing the game into a fifth and final set. In the fifth, Shields again came up big for Carolina. She finished the day with 29 kills, double her kill per serve average on the season. Kayla Caffey proved the Tigers were still in the contest, and Mizzou had the edge at the halfway point of the fifth, 8-6. to six. Aubrey Azell would bring the Gamecocks back into the context with her serving, surviving five match points in a row, including her second ace of the day. Mizzou was able to score back-to-back -back off of serving by freshman Andrea Fuentes and would survive in Columbia, winning the fifth set 16-14, and were able to take the match 2-1. The Gamecocks fought hard and showed resilience in today's contest, but could not end up on the upside. Now they look to Sunday, where they will face off against Arkansas here at the Carolina Volleyball Center at 1.30 p.m. For Capital City Sports, I'm Ethan Still.